Who are we? Nobodies. Speak for yourself. Okay. We're Canadian filmmakers with the dream of surviving financially on the backs of our films. Welcome to our show where we bring people along on our film journey. Maybe, maybe we can learn a thing or two. Maybe we can teach people a thing or two while drinking beers. I mean, if you can't drink beers while filmmaking, what's the point? We are Fable Forest Films, failing our way to success. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I mean, our show. First frames first. Before we begin, have you ever tried to have just a running duck face? Like... Like, like the, the whole bro, time? Like the bro kind of, what's up, bro? Like what's that up, bro? Of, so you, sometimes yeah, 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 you yeah, joke yeah, yeah. with it, right? You do this, you're like, I'm going to pop my collar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then have you ever tried to like just... Do it the whole time? Just roll this the whole time. You have... Do you know how hard it is to like talk and then land back in douche face? No, it's nat- it comes you, really you, naturally to me, actually. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Okay. <clears throat> you just don't have the lips for it. I'm, <laughs> I got some serious lips, so I'm pouting naturally all the time. Fair enough. Welcome to uh, First Frames First, the official podcast of Fable Forest Films, um, film production company. Uh, I'm one of the hosts, Jason Green. And you, sir? I am another one of the hosts. My name is Adrian Constant. And together, Jason Green and I make fictional films. We do. Well, yeah. we have. We have. And we are going to again. And which we want to make another one. Many, many films. So, uh, so uh, here's the thing. We started having a discussion uh, and we uh, immediately stopped. And we were like... We should be podcasting right now. We should be recording what we're talking about. Um, because, we, as we told you in our first episode, what we want to do is show the journey. We want to show what we're doing as we go. And every time we sit down, we have this, <clears throat> we have this, this problem that we, that, that we run into all the time. Which is, we go out for dinner with somebody cool, or we have some cool meeting, uh, and we're so engaged with what we're doing, we forget that a big part of uh, filmmaking these days is um, making sure you get an Instagram photo and like, <laughs> yes. right? And uh, <laughs> so we're always driving away from cool meeting with actor or, you know, money man or whoever. And we're like, why the fuck didn't we not get a picture of this meeting that we just had? Anyways, so here we are. Um, so coincidentally, I just had a cool meeting. Um, and, uh, we won't go into real details yet, but, um, just had a cool meeting with an yeah. uh, f- old friend of ours, um, and I did not get a selfie, so I'm just telling you. You stupid I know. SOB. Yeah. So, really cool, super jealous of, uh, their super sweet offices. Um, yeah. We're, we're not in my office today. Today we're in Adrian's, uh, editing, uh, locale. Yep. <laughs> Downstairs. This is the basement office. Mm-hmm. And it's awesome. No, I love it. I love it. I'm very at home here in the dark and dank of my basement. Well, it's not dark today because um, we immediately saw what our faces looked like on camera, and so Adrian ran to the garage to get actual lights that are set up and making us look slimmer. So thank you <laughs> for that. <laughs> so cool meeting. Anyways, cool meeting. Caught up with with old friend and. Um, you know what? We'll see. Interesting. Very cool. Interesting discussion. Interesting opportunities that may may pop up. Um, some some cool funding options where we do a little bit of brainstorming and a little bit of pitching, and um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's it's always nice when there is possibility. Yeah. Like nothing is nothing is ever. You shouldn't really get excited about anything. Until something real happens, like, you know, someone signs on the dotted line. But when, when they even talk, mm-hmm. I mean, it's cool. Even though talk is cheap, yeah, it's cool to be doing the talking, you know? For sure. At least you're doing the talking. At least you're not just sitting in a corner somewhere doing nothing, right? <clears throat> you know what's funny? Um, and, I, and, I, and I know we, we, we want to try to, to hit these seven-minute marks with our videos, but mm-hmm. I'll throw one more thing out before we get going. Um, 
we're at this we're at this level of filmmaking where we've made a couple films and and uh, you know we're not like widely successful or like super famous or anything, but <clears throat> sometimes you you run into somebody who has been watching what you're doing and they're very excited about you know how the particular film is doing or how you know the project that they've been watching you work on and uh, and sometimes you can be like because you're in it you can be like yeah it's going okay blah blah you know and yeah. uh, but they're so excited. Um, because you know what, the, uh, uh, working in film and making make believe and 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 you know just getting to be creative, everybody dreams about it. Yeah. Right. We uh, you know we work Joe jobs and we want to create. Right. Yeah. Other people, um, they work Joe jobs and they dream about that that novel that they want to write or that song that they want to write or that short film that they want to make or the movie mm-hmm. idea that they have or whatever. And sometimes when they get to see people that are doing it. Um, just sparks the imagination and they want to talk about it, right? So it's fun yeah. to, you can't forget when you're in it and you're, you're slogging and you got long days and you're tired and you're, you know, you've been lugging camera equipment. You can't forget that it's, it's pretty, it's like being a sports, it's like being an athlete. I'm sure they work really hard, but don't forget that you're skating around and yeah. making millions of dollars. You, you, you are doing your dream. Right. For sure. So yeah. anyways, uh, so really cool meeting. We'll see what happens and, and we'll talk more about it as if things uh, arise, but the one thing that we wanted to do today um, was uh, you, you pinged me uh, earlier and you said, let's try to come up with some goals for the year. Yeah. So we're in March. We're mid-March right now. And uh, ooh, maybe we should never talk dates because we don't know when we're going this to... This episode may actually hit in Come April. out in like December. No, no, no. Eight, probably April. <clears throat> but... Um, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Anyways, we're a little bit behind. So, uh, episode number three. Um, but goals for 2017. And and we're not talking about huge financial goals. We're just... Yeah. Just some things that we would like to achieve in 2017. I think every year, I do think it's important to, um, to just write down the things that you would like to get done that year. Mm-hmm. Now, I have a habit of writing down way too much stuff. Right. But it... It's funny when you when you go through the list, like when I go through my list for last year, mm-hmm. and last year basically the only thing that we did, no, I suppose the two things that were on my list that we did actually achieve was Bickerman's Grove, yeah, finished Bickerman's and completed. No, Greenhouse got online, the, got online distribution, yeah, through the, through the major platforms. Mm-hmm. Bickerman's Grove got finished, and we did the screening, and it got it landed on all the platforms. Huge year, and the website was done. Yeah. And those were like, those were the big things that I wanted to achieve last year. I did miss some other stuff. I was way over ambitious. But those were the biggies and? Those were the biggies. And now I'd like to do that again for this year. Just because it, I don't know, it sets, it, it, it gives you an eye line that you can follow along. That you can see, are we doing the things that we want to do? Yeah. And I think it's very important, personally and business and in any sense. I, I wonder... I wonder, you know, I love the idea of the the five year plan, the ten year plan. Like when you're thinking way out, what are the things you want to do? But I mean, you need to leave lots of room open for uh, just stuff to happen, right? Mm-hmm. You just never know what's going to happen. But I think, I think when you try to run a business or you try to hit the next goals, um, yeah, having having goals in mind and and to me, realistic and achievable goals. Yes. Right. And and yeah. I, like I don't know what you've been thinking when you mentioned it to me. I I wrote some things down. And uh, some of the stuff that I wrote down is very just like small, like small things to hit and make sure that we keep moving along. And uh, mm-hmm. and uh, so uh, you know, um, I think small, small and specific is awesome. Yeah. Okay. So okay, w- do you want to dive right into it? Yeah, absolutely. And- um, just to... are we missing? We had a we had a structure that we were going to run things. Let me well, ask. You. Uh, well, I'll, t- I'll tell you. The first thing we did was we this time we definitely introduced ourselves, and that's a done deal. That's awesome. We're gonna get better at this so, every time. I don't know. It, so let me ask you this. Yeah. yeah. How is how is the writing coming? Oh, ex. Uh, well, okay. Thanks. You're welcome. I wouldn't say excellent, but um, I've been working almost every day, a little bit at a time. Mm-hmm. Um, I have not hit writing phase yet. 
Um, but what I'm doing is, so <clears throat> I'll show you guys, can we, can we plug a book? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. But I will say, one of the things I will say just before you go is that on all the interviews, because I only have my own method of yes. writing, right. but I watch a lot of interviews with writers Okay. that would make your head explode, the number of you know interviews. And almost all of them say that you wait to get into the actual writing of the formatted screenplay yeah. as long as possible. It's almost like you, you formulate and you shape the idea for as long as possible. And then once everything is exactly where you want it to be, then you dive into the, mm. to the structure mm -hmm, stuff, mm -hmm. stuff, the Celtics or the final draft mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever well, program me, you're going to use. Let me say, uh, you know, we've, we've dabbled around with some different ways. Mm -hmm. Um, historically I like, and I, you know what, we could spend a whole episode talking about like how we want to get into writing and stuff. But let me give you, let me give you just cause to, today's episode, like has a purpose, it has a purpose. It's the goals episode for mm -hmm. 2017. So, but what I will give you an update on where I'm at. So cool. <clears throat> I've been, I took your book. Now this is not the normal way uh, that I go about writing, but I'm not a great writer. So I'm giving it another, I'm giving it, a, I'm trying something new. Uh, so this year, or, or this time anyways, I'm trying this book called The Coffee Break Screenwriter. Um, so it's like, uh, you know, got 10 minutes, read, write your screenplay. And I was like, perfect. I have 10 minutes. <laughs> um, they're full of shit because basically they're like, once you have 10 minutes and you finish that, then you, like, you gotta immediately have another 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes. Like, it takes a long, it takes many 10 minutes to write your screenplay. Um, but what I really like about this book, <clears throat> it's got me thinking about some interesting things. And um, and I think I mentioned before that uh, uh, the, the particular um, script that I'm working on right now, um, we already have a full first draft, um, which is great. Um, but I really want to add some, some, some tension moments and some moments of doubt that really... Um, change a little bit of how things go and I want to build on each character a little bit more and so what this book is doing is it's giving me these pieces of these tools to like talk specifically about the things that I I'm I want to do and mm -hmm. um, and as I work through each uh, exercise um, interesting things are popping up in my mind. thanks for listening to the Fable Forest Films podcast first frames first yes First frames first. Thank you, Jason. Welcome. If you enjoyed, head over to our website, www.thefableforest.com. Check out our films and sign up for our newsletter where we will send you exclusive content. Hit us up on our socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, always at The Fable Forest. And share our show with your friends. It'll really help us out a lot. Dream big. Work hard. Work hard.